Uh, congratulations to the Aggies. I thought uh, Kyle Simons was obviously really, really good. And, um, you know, we got off to a bad start uh, in the first inning. Um, you know, set, set behind the eight ball a little bit. But, uh, you know, that didn't that didn't cost us the ball game. What what did was how good Kyle was. And uh, for the rest of the game, we just tried to uh, keep it close, but um, but also conserve pitching for uh, for tomorrow. So I had no doubt that uh, that this whole weekend was going to be a grind, and as it has been. And we look forward to uh, being back out here tomorrow. Uh, we do have the wireless mic that'll be making its way around. If you would please hold your questions until you get the mic. We'll start with Gabe, please. Yeah, Evan, can you just take us through the importance of momentum? And yesterday, you guys were able to grab it, and then A&M never could recover. A&M did it tonight. Well, I mean, they were the crowd was in it for them from uh, from about pitch two to the last pitch. Um, yesterday was a big a big part of our victory was uh, silencing that crowd, and uh, they feast off their crowd and the the bubbles and all that stuff. So, I mean, it just makes it a little harder to to come back and uh, scratch some runs off when that crowd's into it like that. Other questions here in the front, Kendall? Jim, looking at Mitchell, obviously had a shaky first, but after that kind of settled in and had uh, quite a few innings, a uh, pretty solid uh, pitching. What did you kind of see from him in the first and after that a little bit? Well, I mean, obviously the second pitch of the game was just elevated and Moss got a good swing on it. And then he got and he made two really good pitches to uh, to uh, Banks and, and Boomer, and then a couple bloop singles, and then the air, you know, and, th and that that was a big part of the game. We had a chance to get out of it with just one run, um, and Elliott's played great for us all year, so you know those things are going to happen. You got to be good enough to overcome them. But Mitchell did great, uh, kept us in the ball game. But again, it's not it's it's way more about Simons than it is about anything, you know, on our end. I thought he was just really good. He filled up the strike zone. Kept the ball at the bottom of the strike zone, and even when we had chances to maybe uh, scratch for a little bit, he, he, he made better pitches or they made plays. So uh, credit should go to them. Any further? Right here, Mel. Wireless, right behind you. Uh, Mitchell, first of all, your first inning, what, uh, what do you attribute that to? Just where did it came from for you? I mean, uh, Second pitch of the game, it was elevated, and he put a good swing on it. So credit goes to J.B. Moss. Um, after that, I mean, it's it's the same thing, just trying to make good pitches. Um, the jam shot single to center field was fastball in. It was exactly where it was supposed to be. Um, the jam shot over shortstop was exactly where it was supposed to be. Um, you know, the error didn't help, but at the end of the day, um, you know, uh, I should have gone one, two, three anyway. Um, so I'm never going to put that on my guys. He's played great all year. Um, they just they, the the credit goes to them. They put good swings on baseballs. One of them was elevated, and the other ones were in good spots. So, back to the front, Kendall. Evan, I know you had a good night, but looking at Kyle Simons as, as a catcher, what did you kind of see from him uh, that he was kind of able to keep this offense off balance? What do you see from him <laughs> stuff wise? Well, I mean, he uh, he executed his game plan. Obviously, I mean, he was commanding his fastball. He was jumping ahead, um, and he was using his secondary pitch as well, and uh, keeping our hitters off balance. Um, and like Coach said, he was phenomenal tonight. Um, um, and that, that's about it. He was he was just really good tonight. Right here in the middle. Uh, Coach and Evan, I'll address this to you too. You guys have played in two. Uh, well, Coach, you've played in three Game 3 Super Regionals. You've four. won them all. Four, four at TCU. Yeah, and you've won the last three. What What does it take in a Game 3? And, Evan, you played in that one last year. What do you remember about it taking to win a Game 3? Well, I mean, it's it's going to take us um, not just coming here and showing up and playing. It's going to take us coming here and taking it tomorrow. Um, we're going to have to take it from pitch one, uh, especially in a hostile environment. So. Um, they're going to be amped up. We're going to be amped up. But we just got to make our plays and, and just want it more and just take it. Back to Evan, my question was was more along the same lines. How easy is it going to be to flush this and look ahead to tomorrow, knowing that y'all were exactly in the same position uh, a year ago? Um, I mean, we've been a pretty resilient team all year, um, especially when a, a good pitcher comes out and has his stuff going for us or for them. Um, you know, that just a little, a little extra motivation for us. Uh, we're just going to be hungry, and we're going to want to come out and take it tomorrow. Got time for a couple more. We'll go back to the middle here. Coach, talk about that game three mentality and what you impart 
And also, who's pitching for you tomorrow? Uh, Brian Howard will pitch. Um, you can't make it anything more than it is. It's, it's, it's just a ball game, and you know, uh, got to play relaxed. You got to, you know, s as soon as Landis Toy struck out, the score instantly became zero to zero. And if we think of it anything more than that, then we won't be playing. But you know, we've been in this situation before. You know, I've been in this situation before, but I don't play. So these guys just got to, you know, they just have to play sound baseball. You have good starting pitching, you have timely hitting, and, and you play good defense behind behind the pitcher. So it's that simple. And um, can't do anything more than that. Anything else? Gentlemen, thank you.